Hey guys, it's Nina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be sitting down talking to you guys because it feels like it has been forever. I've just been doing voiceovers. So I'm glad to be here face to face with you. Hello, welcome. Happy spring, happy May, happy surviving quarantine all of that. I really do hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself, nothing crazy happened here. I did start a new job and I talked a little bit about that on the community tab. So if you follow me, but you don't see those posts there, definitely go there because I do post stuff. And even during times when I haven't posted a video, most likely there will be something there that you can look at, so. But let's see, I'm still doing Invisalign. I'm actually on tray nine of 14. So I'm more than halfway done. So by the end of July, hopefully, I can take these things out of my mouth. I will still have to wear a retainer, but I'm glad to be almost done. So in this video, I wanted to talk about lock journeys and how our journeys can shape shift and they can evolve and change and grow and they're not all the same and they shouldn't be and that's fine. So I got a comment on my six year lock journey video, which I'll link to basically saying, girl, how are you at six years when I'm at three years and our locks are the same length? I'm just paraphrasing. I thought that was a great question. I don't know how she meant it exactly. I don't know if it was meant to be snide or snarky. You can't really tell these things in messages sometimes. I decided to take it as a straightforward question. I answered it, boom, that was it. So that question made me think of something that I think a lot of us tend to forget sometimes. And that is that when it comes to a lock journey, time is relative. So I feel like it's almost meaningless to compare your lock journey to someone else's in terms of the time that you've had it. Because really the number one question is, where did you start? I wanna say I had three inches of hair. I might've had a little bit more. I started all the way up here, okay? I don't know where she started her lock journey. I decided not to really go into it. If you started your lock journey here, 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 anywhere else, yeah, your hair is gonna be longer than mine. Even if we started on the same exact day with the same exact stylist and she started my locks with her left hand and your locks with her right and she was doing them both, your locks are gonna be longer if you started longer. And I think this is why it's so, so, so important not to get caught up in the length of time and not try to make an apples to apples comparison of your lock journey with someone else's. Cause then there's also the question of how fast does your hair grow? My hair grows about six inches. This is when it was loose. I actually don't know how much it grows a lot cause you do lose some length. Every time you retwist, you know, the hair is shrinking back up. The reason that my hair looks the way it does right now is because I had to cut at least five inches off my locks from color damage that I got last year. It's almost gonna be a year. It was June, 2019. It, tore up my locks, it tore up the ends, and it was devastating and absolutely sucked. I cut a whole year's worth of growth between that point and now. We automatically expect a lock journey to be about length, and typically that's because hair tends to get really long with locks. So part of my new lock journey is eliminating this linear sense of time. Yes, I've had locks six years, ever since March 2014, but you don't see six years of growth. First of all, you don't see six years because I have it in two strand twists, and when you twist your locks, they look shorter, but you're not gonna see six years of growth anymore at this point, and that's just my reality because on my journey, I hit a speed bump. I had to take a detour. So now it's just me accepting the fact that this is my hair and it's kind of just like that whole like link journey. You know, the pictures, all of my lock journey videos where you've been able to see like all of my growth throughout the years. Unfortunately, that's not my reality anymore because I'm not on that linear path to growth. So I can't act like this lock journey was never about length. It definitely was. Every year up to last year, the journey was linear. So I can show you my one year lock journey, two years, three years, four years, and I'm maintaining all that growth. Now I'm not. So now I gotta show you something different, which is just me having locks for six years and growing them. Cause I never saw myself cutting my locks. I always thought that I would keep them and keep growing them until they got to that terminal length that I wanted. So yeah, I've had to just reframe my thinking because a part of me was like, oh, now I'm a year behind, but it's like, a year behind what? This is no race. This is an individual thing. My lock journey is mine. Your lock journey is yours. And whatever bumps and detours come along the way, it's just part of the journey. 
What are you experiencing? What goals do you have? How does your hair grow? Where are you starting? It's really good to get inspiration from other people, but ultimately what happens on your head is what's gonna make the most difference for you. Definitely don't get caught up in, oh, my hair doesn't look like hers or doesn't look like his. It's not, it's not gonna look exactly like that. Even if I tell you the exact number of locks I have and the exact diameter, your hair probably still is gonna look different because you got a different shape head. So there are just so many other things to consider than just, oh, how long has it been and how long should my locks be at this point? It just doesn't work like that. It's not an exact science. So cut yourself some slack, give yourself a break, take this journey. It's a beautiful journey. It's different for everybody. My journey has been beautiful despite the bumps. And I am looking forward to just some new things that I'm doing, some new maintenance that I'm doing, which I'm actually really excited to tell you guys about. I, I tried something different and that's, it's, it's different. That's all I'm gonna say, it's different, but so far I'm liking the results of it. So I can't wait to share that with you guys and just show you how I'm maintaining my locks as they are versus focusing on how long my locks are at this point. So that's all. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that this is not a race. There are no rankings, there are no standings. Let your hair do what it's gonna do. People can ask questions all day, but ultimately this is you and your journey. It's like it's me and my journey. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave any comments if you have any. If you haven't hit that bell so you know when I upload, go ahead and do that. And also again, go to the community tab. Make sure you watch that tab because I do post there. I also do post on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on there. And I will see you next time. Bye.